Hi, and welcome again. Today we are going to continue on our uh, videos. So uh, it will be the part number six. So as you know, we are talking about uh, .NET Core with the Flutter. So what we have uh, done last time, let me just uh, recap what we have done very fast, just what we have done to just remember what we have created in the previous video. Uh, let me close the PowerPoint. So this is our project. Uh, as you know, we build our API and our API, it's, let's, let's suppose it's published or it's on the local iOS to be able to access it from your uh, uh, from your emulator. Uh, so today we have, uh, so uh, the one more thing, we, we built our models, the student models, similar to what we have done in the .NET Core API, the models. We have built two uh, constructor, one with ID, one without. Now we build our setter and getter and uh, uh, how to serialize and deserialize your data from uh, from, J from J yeah, I can't say from JSON. So when you send your data, you serialize it, and when you receive it, you deserialize it. So these two methods, they are, this uh, method, they are responsible to do these things. Uh, so today our plan uh, will build uh, the API class. This API class will handle all the. Uh, as, I, as I told you, I will, will try to create something clean code. So I need the code uh, to be understand understandable by anyone. Anyone can understand the code. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll create our API, or how to how to call our API. We'll split them in, in file. So let's create here file. We call this file. Uh, uh, let me just crazy mouse. Uh, let's call it API uh, dot services uh, dot dot. This will be class. In this class, class uh, call it API services. Okay. So this class, the most important things in this class we need is the URL to connect our the URL for our API. It could be local. It could be Online one well, doesn't matter anything. So this will be string. Uh, so let's call it the stu student uh, URL. So this URL will be the URL for our uh, API. Oh, I think I need to change my mouse. So let me copy this one. So this one I published on my local IIS. You can publish it online, you can publish it anywhere you like. I put my URL. So uh, the second thing, as I said to you, I need to create a method to fetch my all, all the students as a list to show to the uh, user in the first uh, UI when he opened the app. So uh, this method will be static. Uh, we'll call. I will. I will return future. Let's call it uh, fetch uh, student. I don't have anything to send. Just it will be a uh, sync. Okay. So we'll return, wait, so now I need to call something, they call it HTTP, uh, so let me tell you what this exactly, uh, sometimes we need to call external library to help us to to, uh, to do our job, so, similar to Nugget in, uh, uh, in .NET or similar to Maven or Gradle and, uh, and Android or in uh, Java. So how we how we call these things or how we uh, added them? Here in uh, Dart, they have a YAML file. Pop spec this one. You can write or you can call anything you need under this one. But you should be careful about the spacing because uh, YAML file it's a bit crazy. Uh, so what I need, you can go to Google. 
you can write uh, flutter uh, http just to get the link for that and they give example about about it everything's available about it so uh, let just me say i think i need to put my antivirus of it sometime make everything is slow not now thank you so we have the first website here uh, popped out there let's say this one the repository for all the dart language and they say, they say to you it's a flutter or wave or other things so here as i say to you i need the http so it's easy how to add it to your uh, class and how to call it and how to use it but i need how to install it i think they put it here so just copy this one under the dependency uh, let's back to our project just put it here and be careful about the spacing so here you can say uh, if you save it automatically it will call the it will call and it will install it automatically to be installed or you can press on this icon at the top here get packages it will show you if there is any error or anything so let's back to our class the api class so as you see here they, they said or they explained to you how to do it just copy these things okay you can put them on top of your class here okay uh, they put example here but we don't need this example you, you can it should could be useful but what we are using i think is good too so uh so here what we need to pass after we uh, we add our packages we need to pass the student url to this library it's easy and simple here just to get a list of all students this i suppose now the first method will do and after that we'll continue on with the uh, how to post data or delete data or all the rest of them so let's close this one uh okay let's close the yaml file when i did so uh now i need to add something new or a new ui uh but not under the models i need to create a folder uh let me call it uh, you can call it uis or you can call it uh, screens it's back to you i'll call it ui so under this ui i will call something uh, you can call students or student list let's call it student uh, i hope it will not make any yeah conflict with any things so i think students all right so and this student here i will create my widget or my ui to call that method or the api we have written on api service and to display to the end user list of this student so now here it will be more interesting uh, let's start with it uh, first thing we need to create a class let's call it students okay this class will extend from it will be stateful uh, widget because we'll hold our data so if you press like this it will generate everything something nice but I don't need these things wow that's back uh, here state yeah i think we don't need this one yeah state full i don't need to generate it i will write it by myself so widget okay even they call this one automatically you don't need to write any things uh, okay oh student our constructor uh we'll have the capital key key if we need to uh, inherit any data from the from the main dart when we open this one if you send if you want to send any data we'll use it in this constructor uh we super key key that's it for this key so uh after that we need to add over sorry Alright, I need to say underscore student state 
Uh, this one should be great automatically, but we are writing everything by our hand. As, you, as I showed you before, we can do it in uh, an easy way. Great state. Sorry. Underscore student state. Okay. So, where is the student state? I think I missed something here. Yeah, I missed bracket here. I don't need this one here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about this? I think I think we need to create this one too now. So uh, we'll create again class. We'll call it student list status. It will be extended again from state student. Sometimes I'm spelling. Oh, what this crazy mouse? Give me a second change. Okay, uh, now we need to generate. We can generate the method or of, uh, to uh, build our widget. Or we can write for ourselves. Let's try to uh, do it by the generating here. So here's just a small issue. Okay, so now we need to write our uh, the widget builder here. So I need just to create a list of students. Uh, we'll call it uh, underscore student, or let's call it just a student, because we'll be uh, we'll save all the students in this list. Uh, so uh, let's write our builder. Uh, there is this one. Okay, uh, this one will we'll return now scaffold. So inside the scaffold, we have the app bar. Uh, the app bar, we can do many things. We can write it as a method, or straight away, we can say app bar. I will show you how we do it now, and after that, I will make it, uh, let's suppose, I will do uh, it's easier way. Not easier way, it's more tidy, let's say. So the title uh, will be text. Uh, what we can say on the title? Why do I miss this one over right here? Okay, let's say student. Uh, let's call it list. Okay. So this is my app bar title. This one from here. This. Uh, yeah, this is the widget. I will leave it now. Uh, so the second thing I need to add is the body for the scaffold. Okay, let's say body. So in this body, it will be the list of my of, of all the students will be in this one. So it will be here a bit uh, confusing, or many things we have inside it. But first things, let's leave it uh, null. Why? Because I need to prepare my data. So which data I will send? I will send this student, but student still still empty. So I need to write method to call my uh, API uh, to fill the list or fill the student list. After that, fill the student this, uh, the list of the student. Oh my God! Fill this student. After that, to fill the list we have, we will our will build it. So uh, let's try to write method here. Let's call it uh, get student. So uh, in this one, we will say straight away we can call our API servers because it's static uh, class. So we'll say fetch student dot then. So the value I'm, I'm receiving from there, what I will do with that value? Uh, why do I? Okay. So let's go like this. So the response, response coming from there, it will be like this. Okay, so uh, it will be a terrible here. It will be list equal JSON. JSON. I think I need to just the code. Okay, uh, so my 
what I'm decoding here, I'm decoding the respo uh, response that's which coming from uh, my API. Dot, uh, I'm taking just the body. Okay. Great. Uh, second things, the list of my student. Not student, student. Ah, uh, here should be student or not student. So we need to call this one now. See, it's sometime why why I care about the naming should be called student list. It's now making mistakes between them. So it will be student uh, list inside the student list. Just I uh, just I'm declaring here a list of the student. Sorry. Okay. So the student list. I will map my data inside it now oh so just me just call this one here let's say m sorry import i need my models okay after that i need my student now it's fine so here we just we are uh importing the student uh model as you see it's now it's fine here so dot map remember this method we wrote we said to get uh, to, after we fetch the data it will be json so now now we need to uh, deserialize the data to show it to the end user uh, we'll say model lambda equal student dot from uh, this same model that uh, it will be to list here or we'll convert it to list mm, that's it okay so I have the data now here this data here I need to set it on the main student or the public one because I can't access this one from any method so I need to send this data to this uh, list here so how, how many to do to do it here in dart they have something uh, to change this uh, the status of the uh, uh, what we have declared here okay how to change this status for this one I need to call set something set status so set status will do will take my uh, students so which one we have here will set it on the public one let's say here this is it's not complicated but just how to understand it I can't access this one or not not I guess sure I can't access I can't access this one from any method so just I need to take the data from this one to send it to this or to set it here so I need to use set status to change the status of the uh, student list uh, I think this video is 18 minutes uh, let me just stop here and continue on the next video See you in the next video.